Hello, hello. Today we are painting a band of Lucy Blood Sisters. I only use 10 paints with these, 11 if you count the one I use for the base. For the main part of the snake, I used a contrast paint, Gargax Sewer. I tried to be pretty heavy with this, make sure it got in all the recesses, and then gave me some variation across the scales. I try to always start on the edges so I can be a little rougher in the middle, and then if I make mistakes, I can know about them earlier on. After that, we move over to the skin. I went with the contrast paint, Dark Oath Flesh. This time around, I tried to be pretty light. I didn't want any staining across the skin. I tried to work on just one area at a time and lift my brush in the recesses to prevent any of them splotches across the flat spots. On the hair, we went with another contrast paint, Luxon Purple. This is my first time using it and I really like this color. I also try to be really heavy with it again and try to get it in all the folds of the hair. This worked out for the most part, but I wasn't very careful on the higher points and I was left with some splotches later on that I didn't really like, but oh well. For the belly of the snake, I used Golden Glow from Reaper Miniatures. I really like this color. It has pretty good coverage for a yellow. Unfortunately, I don't know if they carry this full time or if it's just a holiday exclusive. Last time I looked, it wasn't on their website anymore. Same with the brown. I always try to start on the edges and then work towards the middle. It lets me be a little sloppy sometimes. After the belly, I started to base coat the metallics in black. It was at this point I realized I probably should have done this first. I had to do two coats over this area, and it's kind of tucked in on most of the models. This is also a good point to remind you to thin your paints. I was a bit zealous with it and overbrushed onto the stomach, but with some water, I was able to get it off with very little staining. Rinse your brush out, get water on it, wipe up the paint, spread it thin out, and you can wipe it off again. If you're left with anything, it gives you just a slight tint to everything. In this case, I wasn't opposed to it. I wanted some more variation on the scales. I tried to use the Speed Paint Grim Black from Army Painter to do that. Unfortunately, because I was really heavy with the Gargax earlier on, it just came up mostly black everywhere on the spine. I probably would have better just adding this to the recesses or choosing a different color and doing some edge highlights across it all. For the weapon, I chose to use Vallejo Metal Color Silver. For the handle, I mixed in some of the leftover Grim Black from earlier, but for the blade, I used it straight out of the pot. You can see here it looks a bit darker with the grim black, but honestly when it dried on the model, there's practically no difference between the two. After the weapons, we switch over to Vallejo Metal Color Gold for the rest of the metal surfaces. I really like this color, it goes on super smooth, you don't have to thin it down or anything, even in the airbrush, it's just a solid paint. I had all these stuck to the bases with PVA glue as I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for the bases when I'd started. It snaps off really easy and doesn't leave any marks. With the bonus of getting to have some peel porn.
because I had these glued down, I couldn't easily paint all of the snake belly, so I had to bust out the golden glow again. I wasn't super careful with these and made sure it was one even coat because most of this you couldn't see in the end anyways. After finishing the undersides, I washed them heavily in Agress Earthshade from Games Workshop. I tried to pull down the whole time, so if there was any streaking, it would maybe look like movement marks or scratches across the stomach. After covering all the yellow with the wash, I wiped off all the excess on a paper towel. I really should have had a bigger brush for this, but I left it in the room and didn't realize it at the time and just thought I misplaced it. For the gold, I gave it a solid coating of Reichland Flesh Shade from Games Workshop, making sure it cooled in all the recesses. I was semi sloppy with this as I wasn't too worried about overpainting as it would just add darker shadows all around the armor. This shade makes gold or bronze have a lot more depth to it and I really love it. Here's a quick side-by-side -side with and without the wash to show you how much it enhances the gold if you haven't tried this before. There's a bit of a skip here as I didn't record the bases being done, but I started by painting them brown, then I glued on some black rocks, then I added some shredded coconut fiber and topped all of that with some multicolored flock, and then threw on a few grass tufts. I then left them on my desk for a few too many days and my cat decided to spruce them up with some cat hair that I didn't notice when I was taking the photos. All in all, it took about an hour for each model and really half that time was drying for all the contrast paint and washes. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.